Hello guys, uh, I am back with a new project and this is going to be a very simple project. For this project I am going to use uh, this kind of thread and I will drop the link in the description box where um, you can find this thread. And I did this thread by four, okay? Because I want to use a thick uh, yarn and this is very beautiful thread so I couldn't find it a thicker. So I am going to use to use it like this, okay? So first, let's start step by step. Uh, also, for this kind of project, because the th the yarn is quite thick, if you see, I am going to use a, a three mm hook, okay? This kind of. I will also drop the link uh, in the description box. So we will start this project with uh, 45 uh, stitches. Okay, so let's make a slip knot and let's make 45 stitches. stitches and now we are going to just work a single crochet on the way back so we just insert the hook not in the first one here but at the second stitch okay. and just work on the way back with the, each, sti each stitch one single crochet Okay, so we finished uh, all the way back until here because I just uh, used one stitch to um, go back. Okay, so one stitch is here. So now we have 44 stitches in total. Okay, and uh, now we are just going to have one chain and turn around and again another one chain and then not at the first chain here, but here we are going to have again one single crochet taking both loops. If you see here, we have back loop, front loop. Okay, so this is the front. If you see here, we this is the front loop and this is the back loop. Okay, in tapestry crochet we use, um, in mochilas bags, we use always the um, back loop, but in tapestry crochet we can uh, use both loops. So I will just uh, make it easier and uh, just insert the hook and taking both loops, if you see here, okay? And just insert the hook, yarn under, pull out, and then yarn under and pull through again. Two loops okay so just uh, do a single crochet on each on the way back So here is all the way back and I'm, I'm working a little bit tight 
So uh, here, make one chain, turn around, and one chain again, and then just keep working with a single crochet, taking both loops. I have done 54 rows and about, let me check, about 22 cm, okay? It's about 22 cm and it's all single crochet as I told you. And now, because this is going to be the back of the back and this is going to come at the front, okay? So at the front, as I told you, I am going to use the spike stitch. So now let me show you how um, we do a spike stitch, okay? In total here I have uh, 44 stitches because one uh, was used for the uh, was left here. So okay, was here left. So now I have in total 44 stitches. So I will work like this. One chain I already did and another one, chain two and now the first two stitches I will just do one single crochet on each. Okay. At the third stitch I will not insert the hook um, at the next stitch but I will insert the hook uh, one row lower, which is here, okay? So normally I should insert it here, but I will insert it one row lower. Insert, yarn under, and pull through. Balance it, and then yarn under, and pull through, and pull through again. Next, I won't insert the hook at the next stitch, but I will insert it two rows under, which is one, two. And yarn under and pull through. And yarn under, pull through and pull through again. Next, at the third stitch, I will insert the hook not at the first row but at the third row which is here. So the third is here. Insert, yarn under, pull through. So yarn under, pull through and pull through again. Okay? Fourth um, stitch uh, I won't insert next uh, I won't insert to the first row but I will insert it to the fifth row okay insert and pull through okay. in the same time balance it and then yarn under pull through and pull through again okay and the fifth one I will uh, go uh, six rows under, right? So we have the first two, three, four, five, six. Here I am going to insert the hook, yarn under, pull through, balance the tension, okay? And then yarn under, pull through, and pull through again, okay? Now I will just do the same but on the way up, okay? This is what uh, spike stitch I am going to use. So now for the next stitch I will go um, five rows under. So one, two, three, four, five. I will insert here, okay? Insert, insert, yarn under, pull through. Yarn under, pull through, and pull through again. And the next one, I will go four rows under. So one, two, 
three, four. Okay? Insert, yarn under, pull through, yarn under, pull through, and pull through again. For the next one, I will go three rows under. So, one, two, three. Insert, yarn under, pull through, yarn under, pull through, and pull through again. For the next one, I will go two rows under, okay? So, one, two, insert, yarn under, pull through, yarn under, pull through, pull through again, okay? And the next one, I will just do one single cro crochet, just like that, okay? So this is uh, the spike, um, so this is the spike stitch that I am going to use for the rest, okay? that I am going for. Next I am going to do two more rows which is the space between this spike stitch and the next one and then on top of those two rows another five rows for uh, so I can do the a second spice spike stitch. So in total I am going to do another seven rows okay so I will finish uh, one more pattern then I will come back at you with another update. Okay guys, here we are. As I told you, I was going to uh, do more rows because I am going to repeat the spike stitch one more time, okay? So here uh, are one, two, three and a half, which means I have uh, six, seven er rows, okay? I did seven rows. And the eighth one, I will start to do the spike stitch, okay? Okay, so now I will be doing another uh, four rows and uh, like of this which is four rows and uh, then I will uh, continue with the other parts of this bag okay guys here is the finished work as you see I uh, already did on top of the second spike stitch I did two more rows okay so I did uh, one on this way and then another one on that side okay so now this is the finished uh, um, piece now let me just give you some uh, measurements about this part of the bag and if you see from top to the end it's about 25.5 cm and then if you see from the sides it's about 20.5 cm so now let's start with the next part I am going to use this color and this color is going to be for the part around and also uh, in front of uh, the bag is going to be with this gray color okay Okay, so let's start step by step. So we will start with 45 stitches. Ok, 
okay 45 stitches down so now we are just going to do single crochet on the way back So just a quick update, already finished and let's check uh, the size and if you can see it's a little bit uh, smaller than the other part but uh, while working it will, it will open up. Okay guys, I finished the whole uh, front part and um, I will uh, put the I will put the quantity of the rows and how many cm uh, down here, you'll find that here. So this is just going to be here in front, right? And it's going to be covered from this one. So uh, as you know, this is the um, big part. And of course we need uh, one more part around here, okay? Around here. So I did this one uh, uh, without showing you because it's just very simple. So it's like this. Of course I just use single crochet and uh, for this I use 92 stitches, okay? So this will just go around here, like this, okay? Like this. And I think it's the right size, okay? So for this uh, part I also will put um, uh, measurements over here and how many rows. Okay, so uh, after I did this, now um, I need to assemble the bag. But first of all, I want to do the line. First let me show you how I'm going to do the lining for the big part of the bag, for this, the blue part. Okay, so I need... Um, so I, I want this bag to be a little bit um, uh, hard. And it is already with this um, material that I use, with this yarn. But I also want to make it more hard. So I will use like um, a small piece of, uh, so I will use like um, cartoon, I don't know how you call this, paper, this kind of paper, which is thick, and um, I will cover this edge paper with uh, this kind of uh, material, okay, it's like polyester, this one, and it looks like thick, okay. so. For this one, the measurements are like this one here. These are the measurements. You can see them uh, in your, on your screen. And uh, so I just took the, the fabric, okay? And I need the shiny part from outside. So this is the um, matte part. This is the matte part and this is the shiny part. So the shiny part is going to be from outside. And for this I am going to use the glue. Okay, so I will just put this one here. I made sure to have enough fabric in all sides. I will use the glue uh, to, um, to glue this uh, fabric, the lining on the paper here. Uh, uh, from this side only, I, w I want to do it from the whole side here because sometimes uh, when you glue the whole thing um, it will show some air bubbles and I don't like that.
more or less and meanwhile I will leave this one to dry and this is for one part, right? For the blue uh, part. And I will use this one for all the other colors as well. For this part I already did the I am going to wait for this part to uh, dry and then I will attach uh, this one to the blue part. In the meantime, I want to show you how am I going to attach uh, one of these parts. Okay, so this is already uh, dry. So I calculated that uh, this is going to be the I'm going to use this one as down part, this one as the out part and this one as the in part because I, uh, I usually like to have from outside a, um, one double row, okay? This is a double row, so this is how I see it, okay? So now this one, this is from outside, so the lining is going to be from inside, right? and lines underneath so we don't show anything okay. okay so 
this is one part finished I did this is the outside you can see here that there is no uh, thread going out okay so I did this part this one now I will start to um, hide I, even though I will make one more row but better I probably hide them okay this one as well uh, now there are still two more uh, parts to uh, put the lining right this one which is ready and the other one that I'm waiting to dry uh, but first I want to put some pearls here that is my intention okay before I put the lining which will cover I will sew I will sew some pearls okay so this is the front side because I have one two rows now what am I going to do with the pearls you, you say because this one was um, the thread the yarn I was using was made in four like this so it would it wasn't going in so I had to I have to sew them okay so the first one goes here Same work as I did in the uh, 
this part that I wanted to show you, okay? Uh, also, the measurements and everything I, I have uh, already put in the video, but I will put them again in the description box. So, this we have part one, part two, and part three, okay? I also did this one. Now, the bag is like this. This is the back part and the front part. Okay, this one is going to be here and this is just going to be around, okay, so you get the idea, okay. So first I am going to attach this part with the gray part, okay, I will do well with uh, crocheting. And just work with a single crochet. Try to match one here, one here. which is a little bit difficult, so just uh, bear with me here. Okay. So I will put this stitch again. You have to do it in um, around this, just one stitch here and one stitch here, okay? Because you, you need space here. Take your time and work slowly. And let's continue. them with your hand but in general they're 
they don't look bad, <laughs> I swear. And uh, this is the out part. I think maybe you can get the idea now, right? So this is the in part. It will take shape, uh, don't worry, but I need to put the other part. So the other part is like this. This is the back, this is the front. So it's just going to be like this. And of course now you get the idea that I am just going to crochet all around here, here and here, right? Okay guys, so now first let's line up well the corners. Uh, and if you see here, I will try to find uh, the right position where to insert the hook, okay? So I will insert the hook here and then I will find the right stitch at the grey side. Of the back try to line up uh, the two pieces well so now let's just uh, start to crochet okay so yarn under and uh, pull through work slowly because it's a hard work this one and just try to hide the line okay and keep cr uh, do a single crochet Okay, so just work like this at the same uh, stitch maybe uh, at the corner you might have to do uh, two single crochet in one stitch because the corners are a little bit tricky and you want to give some more space to uh, each stitch on the corners right so if you see I am going around at the a corner stitch of the blue uh, part okay so just work slowly and uh, tidy okay if you see I am also trying to uh, hide the uh, the line that I started with So here it is how it will look like okay so now I will just keep working like this all around the gray part and I will uh, come back at you once I am finished okay so here it is and this is uh, how it should look like and now I will uh, just keep working all around the blue part with a single crochet. I will just make one row and then I will keep connecting the last side of the grey part, okay? So now I will just keep working um, on the blue without connecting. There is nothing to connect anymore. So I will just do a single crochet on each stitch, one single crochet. Okay, so if you see now I am crocheting the corner here and uh, at the corner you have to work slowly but at the last uh, stitch of the blue corner if you see I am going around so at the last stitch I will do uh, three stitches in one stitch I am just going around that stitch okay because uh, that stitch needs space. So here it is, already done. And now let's tidy up a little bit the lines around. I will hide them, okay? So I will start from the blue one over 
here, okay? So I will use the needle for that. Okay, so now you can see the finished uh, bag, the finished project is all cleaned up and tidy up. So there isn't any more any line showing. So here it is. Okay, guys. So here is the finished work, and after I find all those lines as I told you I put this one just for so here is the inside and the lining and here is all around okay so I'm just putting that for shape so I wanted also to um, incorporate and put a magnet here like a button but, uh, and also you can put um, a chain here, which it will be really nice and beautiful. But I ordered all those, but they, they haven't come yet. So I don't want to wait and I wanted to uh, post this, but also this one can be used as a, 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 a small clutch like this. And um, this is more of, um, a bag that I did because I had this yarn uh, that uh, I had it uh, around and I wasn't using it so if you have any yarn that you didn't use and uh, you don't have any, any project for it you can just make a simple clutch like that so if um, you are new to my channel I have this kind of uh, tutorials um, coming every week more or less uh, so I'm trying my best and if you are new to my channel just give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you are not new to my channel thank you for watching